evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us. The Ottumwa baseball team looked to continue its winning streak against the top team in the conference, Des Moines Roosevelt. Let's start in the top of the second. Parker Thode gets the strikeout to retire the side in the third. Thode at the plate, and he lays down a beautiful bunt, hustles out the throw to first, and he's safe. That loads the bases. Trayton Larkin now hits a ground ball to short. Roosevelt tries to turn two, but they drop the ball, literally. That scores a run. Roosevelt scores late to win the first game, 3-2. to two. But in game two, Atumwa hands Des Moines Roosevelt their first conference loss, 6-1. to one. The Bulldogs softball team also took on Des Moines Roosevelt this evening. In the second, it's Dakota Garrison dealing in the circle for the Bulldogs. She strikes out Jolene Horn here in the second. Casey Nickerson gets the bats going. Line drive to center. They wave Kaylee Glasgow, and she beats the throw at the plate. A tumult takes game one, seven to nothing. They also win game two, two to one. Summer basketball camps are a great way for coaches to get a glimpse of what their personnel will be this season. For a team like Kirksville, who's trying to replace not one, not two, but seven seniors, the more practice, the better. Tigers taking on Meadville today. Matt Robbins in the open court, nice up and under. In the second half, it's Meadville's Ryan Young pulls the trigger and connects from three-point range. The saying goes, defense wins championships. Joe Sowers, nice play here, picks the pocket and gets the easy layup. Kirksville would hold off Meadville. Final score there, 34-29. to Good to see some, some of the other guys that uh, probably haven't got varsity minutes in the past kind of step up and do some good things. Uh, you can see they're kind of focused. They, they, they know what's going on. We got a lot of roles to fill, um, and they're out there competing in the summer, and that's, that's what you got to have. Next, Putnam County took the floor against host school Schuyler County. In the first half, a low-scoring affair. Putnam County nabs a steal, and they're off and running. Tanner Bondi banks in the jumper. Nicely done. Great ball movement here by Schuyler County. Bradley Hubbard lobs it over the top to Tanner Rennick, and he does the rest. The Midgets, they go to their big man, Colton Whitworth. He's a load inside the paint. Nice drop step. Calvin Heidenwith also had a strong performance today as well. Knocks down the tray from the corner. Putnam County cruises to victory 53-39. Even in summer ball, we're focusing on the little things, you know, blocking out, playing great defense, uh, doing those things that are going to make us better and prepare us for uh, the season. And those are the things that you have to do to uh, be a successful basketball team. 